In this example, we have a manual lathe. This, this drawing here represents the face view or the, the front on view of the chuck in the manual lathe. So the workpiece is coming out here towards you. There's a rotation, so there's RPM that's spinning this chuck clockwise. Now the operator has forgotten to remove the chuck key from the lathe. And so the chuck key is just held in there, well in this orientation with gravity, when it starts to spin around, there'll be some friction as the, uh, as the twisting happens, and eventually that chuck key is going to come out, and it's going to move in a straight line, tangent to the circle from where it, it came out. And so, uh, and so the question is, how much energy is in the chuck key when it strikes you in the forehead? And so, assuming that you are the, uh, are the operator. And so we, we've been given a diameter in millimeters, we've been given a spindle speed in RPM, and we've been given the mass in pounds. And so what we need to do is figure out how can we turn this information into kinetic energy. So the first step is what's the formula for kinetic energy? And so one half m v squared gives us kinetic energy where m is the mass we'll be given that v is the velocity and so so what is the velocity that we we care about so if this is the velocity that's the direction it's going to be going we know that the uh the diameter of the chuck here so we know where it's going to be when it gets released so our velocities then is going to be pi times the diameter times RPM. And just a quick unit check that gives us, so pi times diameter is length per revolution. And RPM is rev per minute. And so that gives us length per minute. And, and so this should give us our velocity, square that, multiply by the mass, multiply by one half, that gives us kinetic energy, except in what units? Now the question asks us to represent this in units of joules. And so what's a joule? A joule is a kilogram meters squared per second squared. And so to get to joules from here, we're going to have to go from minutes to seconds. So we'll have to convert there. And we also, we have pounds here for mass. So we have to go from pounds to kilograms to get kilograms. And then we've got kilograms, meters squared. Our diameter that's given to us is in millimeters. So we've got to convert from millimeters to meters. And if we do all those unit conversions, we apply this equation, we can find out the energy in the chuck key when it strikes us in the head. Now, now if this had been a multiple choice question, one of the choices should have been enough. But since it's not a multiple choice question, we want a numerical answer. And so just make sure that you get the units correct and you'll get the right answer for this question.